just like beekeeping and bees. I've been doing it for 50 years. I would suggest you have to go into a beekeeping lesson. Um, and then either dive what they call a nucleus beehive. And then keep them for a month and then transfer them into a beehive. A honeybee colony is called a superorganism and it usually consists of around 80,000 bees, one queen, 300 drones, 6,000 eggs, 9,000 larvae, around 20,000 developing larvae, and 50,000 worker bees who do the housekeeping, they forage for pollen, and they make the honey. Where does a bee come from? Well, one of the bees gets all the names you laid that day puts in a special cell called the green cell. And in that cell, there's royal jelly. And the egg hatches out to a larvae, and because it eats royal jelly, it changes its complete shape and it comes out as a queen bee. On a single foraging trip, a worker can travel between one to six kilometers. They can fly up to 15 miles an hour and beat their wings over 200 times per second. Unfortunately, the population of these creatures is on the decline. And also the insecticides and that the farmers are spraying on everything. The effects of climate change, habitat loss and scarce food sources are having an impact on the bees. We need healthy pollinator populations to help maintain the diversity of our world's natural ecosystems. To help save the bees you could plant bee friendly plants, avoid weeding your garden and buy organically or just simply educate yourself on the importance of bees and help spread the word.